Five common mistakes made by electricians when wiring a switchboard. Mistake one, forgetting to seal switchboard openings. In the AES NZS 3000, section 2.9.7, note three, it brings out that any opening into a switchboard five millimeters or greater requires sealing with a fire retardant sealant. We personally like to use Gorilla Fire Krill or Gorilla Fire Seal. Mistake two, incorrectly terminating the bus bar. As we can see in the image, the bus bar didn't quite make it on the right side of the clamp. This resulted in a poor termination, which eventually started a fire. Quite a dangerous situation, but very easily done. We would recommend making sure all the terminals are open before installing the bus bar. Mistake three, terminating incorrectly. We see in this image that the terminal screw had a clamp directly to the insulation instead of the bare copper as it has been designed to do. With no direct pressure on the bare copper inside the terminal, over a period of time the connection may deteriorate to a point where there is a high resistance or no earth connection. This may cause some serious issues. Mistake 4. Forgetting to label the switchboard. In the AS NZS 3000, section 2.3.2.2.2, it brings out that all devices used for isolation shall be clearly identified to indicate the circuit or equipment that they isolate. Forgetting to do this not only breaks the law, but makes isolating difficult for the homeowner. Mistake 5. Cutting down the strands of a conductor to get it to fit. What we see here in our image is a main neutral conductor which has had a number of strands removed so it can fit in the terminal. Any reduction in the cross-sectional area of the terminal could compromise the effectiveness of the earth fault loop path in addition to reducing the current carrying capacity of the neutral. That is the switchboard done for today. We hope this video helps you to avoid making those same mistakes. Want to see the pre-wire for the switchboard installation? Here we'll leave part one. See you next time.